Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are doing second part of RBI functions and monetary policies. So this session is very important for IBPS RRB scale 2 and scale 3 2023 exam. So I'm teaching the RBI functions in the quiz format. So very important questions hai. 10 questions we shared yesterday and 10 questions we are sharing today. So overall 20 questions very important questions students. Uh, so IBPS RRB scale 2 scale 3 course is already available on bank exam we are providing proper video classes notes quizzes live sessions and interview preparation guidance on bank exam link to join the course is available in the description please check the description the question number one which of the following is not a qualitative method of credit control qualitative method of credit control not quantitative so First of all, you should know the meaning. Uh, so credit rationing, credit rationing, it is the practice of limiting the amount of credit that the bank can lend to a certain sector. So RBI is asking the banks to do credit rationing, give less loans to the real estate sector or the bullion sector. Hai? That is credit rationing, credit rationing, limiting the amount of loan to a certain sector. That is credit rationing. Consumer credit guidelines or regulations uh, regulations. This is the regulation of the term and condition of consumer loans, such as installment sales, higher purchase agreements. So the this is what consumer credit guidelines. Okay, so credit rationing limited the credit to certain sectors consumer consumer credit regulations re related to the consumer loans guidelines related to consumer loans. RBI key guideline these instructions or recommendations issued by RBI in India to commercial banks. So a lot of guidelines are there by the RBI. Uh, priority sector lending uh, PSL is one of the qualitative guideline, I would say margin requirement. These are the percentage minimum percentage of the value of asset that a borrower has to deposit as a collateral. If you are taking a home loan or if you are taking gold loan, a good example a gold loan. Let's say the value of gold is one crore and you are taking a loan of let's say 60 lakh rupees. <coughs> there is so moral suasion. Uh, this is a use of appeals, persuasions or warnings by the central bank to influence the behaviors of banks and the other financial institutions. Okay. So these are qualitative measures that the RBI can take. Okay. Quantitative are like rep, uh, SDF and MSF, etc. So change in the rates, the policy rates, those are the quantitative methods, right? So moral subvations, LTV, LTV is a kind of, I would say, margin requirement, okay? Consumer credit regulation, selective credit control, these are all qualitative method. SDF, standing deposit facility, this is a quantitative method, okay? This is a quantitative method. What is a tool used by RBI that allows uh, for absorption of excess liquidity from banking system without having to provide any collateral in the return? So SDF students, SDF was introduced to absorb the excess liquidity from the market from the banks without providing any collateral. So bina collateral provide kiye, SDFs are uh, you know issued SDFs were introduced by RBI in 2021 for liquidity management. So RBI can uh, basically ex uh, absorb excess liquidity from the market. Okay, so SDF is a collateral free arrangement with the help of uh, SDFs, uh, SDF, RBI can absorb excess liquidity from the market without offering any collateral. Which of the following are part of new policy corridor also known as liquidity adjustment facility corridor. So LAF is very popular. Let's move on to the explanation first. Uh, so prior to April 2022, in the policy corridor, uh, there was MSF repo and reverse repo, but now SDFs have been introduced in the previous questions I told you collateral free uh, tool is there the SDF, the standing deposit facility uh, through which the RBI absorb excess liquidity from the market without providing any collateral. Okay. <clears throat> so there was 
rep uh, msf repo and reverse repo but now there is msf uh, repo and then sdfs okay so these three are the part of the new uh, you know liquidity adjustment facility second third and fourth these are the part okay which of the following are liabilities of the issued department under rbi act so it is notes issued uh, notes available deposits and then this includes other liability this includes the accounts that reflect a change in the value of foreign currency and gold assets so these are the liabilities of issue department under the rbi act so first fourth and fifth market stabilization scheme bond money held by public money held by other banks in cash vault these are the liabilities of issue department under the rbi act under the following statement regarding the sdf please read it the uh, you can pause and read it the sdf can be sdfs can be utilized by a bank when it has utilized all its eligible securities for borrowing under slr the deposits under sdf won't be eligible for crr maintenance crr maintain karne ki zarurat nahi sdf pe sdf is always lower than repo rate and msf so which one is correct the second and third are correct deposit under sdfs uh, crr is not required to be maintained for deposits under sdfs and sdf is always lower than sdf ka rate is always lower than repo rate and msf okay so uh, sdf enables rbi to withdraw liquidity from the commercial banks without providing any collateral this is a point you need to know the deposits made through sdf will not qualify for maintenance of crr sdf is always lower than repo rate and msf so this is what you are supposed to remember consider the following statement below the role of rbi in monetary policy to maintain to main the main goal of monetary policy is to maintain price stability so obviously price stability is a goal rbi is responsible for maintaining a flexible inflation targeting framework flexible inflation targeting framework with statutory basis and if rbi is enabled to maintain the inflationary target which is 4 plus minus 2 2 to 6% in any quarter that is false so if rbi is unable rbi is unable uh, to maintain uh, the inflation in the circuit of 2 to 6% uh, jo abhi ka target hai for consecutively 3 quarters then the rbi needs to submit the report to central government so it is not just any quarter it is 3 consecutive quarters 3 consecutive quarters if the inflation rate is beyond the circuits for more than 3 quarters then the uh, then uh, the rbi needs to submit the report to the central government so first and the second is true third one is wrong because not just one quarter three consecutive quarters just read the statements commercial banks are required to maintain a certain amount of their deposits as reserves with themselves under crr system which is actually correct the slr mandates that commercial banks has to maintain minimum percentage of its deposit in the form of liquid assets such as cash gold and securities banks receive a fixed interest on amount that is held in crr so banks they don't receive any fixed interest banks don't receive any fixed interest on the amount that is uh, uh, held in the form of crrs okay so rbi requires banks to maintain certain level of deposits or balance with it Uh, for for which no interest is paid unless there are exceptional cases so in 1999 uh, during the banking slowdown period rbi provided some interest uh, gave some interest to the commercial banks but it is not required okay rbi doesn't provide any interest on the crr deposits so with reference to the basel committee you need to read the the statement it was established by central banks bank governors of oecd countries it, it is not actually true Uh, it was established in 1974 by central bank governors of group of 10 countries so not just oecd okay 
द फर्स्ट वन इज रॉन्ग द कमेटी इंट्रोड्यूस कैपिटल मेजरमेंट सिस्टम कॉल्ड बेसल कैपिटल अकॉर्ड एंड नाइनटीन एटी एट विच इज एक्चुअली करेक्ट बेसल वन और बेसल वन अकॉर्ड वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन नाइनटीन एटी एट एंड फोकसड ऑन सेटिंग मिनिमम कैपिटल रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर बैंक्स बेस्ड ऑन रिस्क वेटिंग ऑफ देयर एसेट्स सो इट वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन नाइनटीन एटी एट एंड अंडर बेसल टू विच वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन टू थाउजेंड फोर देर वर थ्री पिलर्स द फर्स्ट वन कैप मिनिमम कैपिटल रिक्वायरमेंट सुपरवाइजरी रिव्यू एंड मार्केट डिसिप्लिन सो दी दे दीज वर द थ्री पिलर्स सो गो थ्रू द बेसल नॉर्म्स का फुल फ्लैज वीडियो इन द फाइनेंशियल अवेयरनेस सेक्शन ओके सो बेसल टू फ्रेमवर्क रिक्वायर्स बैंक टू मेजर द इंटरेस्ट रेट रिस्क इन द बैंकिंग बुक दैट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट सो एस वी बी बैंक स्कैम इन द ईयर टू So meltdown of SVB Bank. I guess the name is correct. SVB Bank. Why this bank actually went bank corrupt, or when uh, why the deposits of the the depositors in the SVB Bank vanished? That is a case study. Go through that. That will help you to understand the interest risk rate risk. I'll discuss that in one of the shots very soon. Don't worry. Which committee recommended Utkarsh? 20 uh, uh, 2022 plan so that was recommended by uh, the the deputy governor viral acharya uh, committee uh, deputy governor viral uh, viral acharya committee recommended utkarsh 2022 so what was the goal of utkarsh 2022 the goal goal was to provide enhance uh enhance the regulation and supervision of rbi to provide efficiency in the regulatory framework of rbi so that was utkarsh 2022 based on the global best practices rbi increased when rbi increases the slr by 50 basis point uh, which of the following is likely to happen if the slr the statutory liquidity ratio uh, is uh, risen by 50 basis point what is going to happen he reduced liquidity in the banking system so if the banks they need to maintain more if the banks are required to maintain more cash with them they cannot lend money in the market that means what they they there is less liquidity in the market people are uh, borrowing less money there is uh, the supply is lower in the market right so that what happens okay so ibps rrb scale 2 and scale 3 cost student this particular video is part of ibps rrb scale 2 and scale 3 cost we are providing video classes the notes the quizzes the test series the power capsule and interview preparation guidance in this course uh, all the links are available in the description you can access the course on your mobile device uh, ios or the android devices or bankexamstudy.com on your laptop or desktop Uh, this is a whatsapp number here you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts so students list of our successful students who took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams all these students who took our courses and they cracked their respective exams i'm really really happy for them if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts so that's all for today students thank you and have a very very nice day bye bye